how things like psilocybin change connectivity in the brain. And I think the take home message is it expands that connectivity. However, it seems to do so in ways that still allow people to function in their daily lives. One of the key things that I gleaned from the literature on the therapeutic use of psilocybin or the treatment of depression is that very seldom do people who take psilocybin experience long-term issues with memory. Why is that so critical? Well, you could imagine that increasing connectivity in the brain, reducing modularity, reducing hierarchical organization in the brain would lead to disruptions in memory, right? It's as if you're shuffling books on the bookshelf, so to speak, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Rather, it seems that the increase in connectivity is leading provided set and setting are correct, provided safety protocols are followed to positive rewiring or adaptive rewiring of neural tissue. So that's one of the things that makes psychedelics and psilocybin in particular very exciting from the therapeutic standpoint. And of course, we have to acknowledge it's also what has a lot of people excited about psychedelics, not just for the treatment of depression, but for expanding the brain's capabilities more generally.